to the barbecue extruder assembly video I'm just gonna go over real quick how to assemble the uh, barbecue extruder um, and I want to note a couple things before you start make sure you have uh, all the bits and pieces uh, from the bill of materials which uh, I'll leave a link here as well um, and that you've finished all your parts so that there's no more you know junk inside the tunnels and just go over them real nice and smoothly and I'm also having a post about um, the specific areas to look for um, when you're when you're doing that so the list of tools and I've made up a couple names for uh, these such as the hamburger housing area the hamburger push rod hamburger nozzle uh, flathead screwdriver large this is just a size 15 um, for the cylinder head screws small flathead and super duper tiny flathead large needle nose small needle nose of course you have the extruder block the 8 millimeter pulley, the nozzle pulley, your string, um, screws, bearings, lock nuts, washers, and the clear mounted squares. And these ones are uh, by Scotch and they're size small. So they're size small there. So beginning the assembly, step one, of course, is we need to thread the string through the side and up to the top. The top portion has the bearing facing up and you can't see it at the bottom just in case you're unfamiliar with the top. This is the top, this is the bottom, and here's the, the sides. So we'll take our mini screwdriver and uh, I just picked these up at the 99 cent store super cheap they come with various versions and sizes just little cheap ones there it lasted a while and you're going to take one end of your string and feed it through the side here that's the, uh, the easiest way to do it just uh, shove her in there. And then you're going to want to take your tiny screwdriver This is a little bit difficult. It may take a little bit of time to get it all the way in there. see once it's coming in you just want to kind of pluck it out and through string it up so you see it's going in the side and out the top there. there you go so we have our string in there. Now you want to take uh, one of your 624Z bearings. So 
flip some washers on both sides and um, there's various ways to get in there but you just want to get it in there really so take it in drop it in then you'll take a 25 millimeter screw and I, I do prefer the uh, cylinder head screws um, because they look nicer and uh, they don't strip that easily. So there you go, we'll take one black nut and these ones are kind of tricky. I, I need to still do a lot of uh, I still need to do a lot of uh, work on this extruder but I wanted to get it out to you guys to everybody on the planet earth because uh, I know everybody's excited to print some hamburgers and I don't want to hold you back any longer from doing that so and do the same thing with the bearing for the top And I have fat fingers, so everybody out there who also has fat fingers, don't be deterred from working with your hands here and getting the stuff and doing good hamburger printing. So we'll take another 25 millimeter screw washer here do the same thing with the other one, put a washer on each side of there, feed it through, feed the washer through, and another black nut. So you see, have some pretty smooth movements now. Then you're going to want to take uh, a 25 millimeter and a lock nut, just screw that on there, and tie the end of the string coming out the top of the extruder block on to this screw. And I'll show you the reason why we do this here. It basically locks the um, string in place and holds the um, one end of the string. It also allows for um, for quick action hamburger refills. So double knot that, but this end will go up through, and come through the side here, and there's a there's a crevice on this side that holds it in place there, so it doesn't come out. On the other side of the string, we will feed it through the eight millimeter pulley. Your mini screwdriver again, feed the other end of the string through the 8mm pulley. Just shove it right through there. And getting it through the other side is a little bit tough, but it can be done. Now all this stuff is um, 
printed in PLA, but the end result of the barbecue is planned to be all casted, so you can slap that puppy right on your grill. And then just tie a knot in this end. And that will prevent it from sliding in. And you see also, I've already covered this, but in the design there's a little indentation here to get it out of the way to slide over the 8mm there bolt when you attach it and for the uh, nozzle pulley you just do the same thing you did with the other bearings a couple washers yeah This one you might want to drop a pre-screw in there if you can't get it the first time there. This side. Now, assemble, put the nozzle on your hamburger housing, and you want to slide it, hamburger housing, and slide it up. Now, mine, I've made some, um, some custom holes to make sure it fits in there just line it up with the, uh, the correct holes here and you might have to use a little bit of force in there slide her up in there take one of your clear squares and center it Above the rod, slide in your nozzle pulley center, and it stuff sticks great. Attach it, tighten it down, take the end with the screw, slide it through, line it up on the bearings, drop it through there. There we go. Now, next video you should watch is the attaching the barbecue extruder, and you'll be ready to print burgers shortly after we after we do some other adjustments to the front one and uh, your slicing settings. Thank you uh, for watching. It's been uh, a lot of fun doing this. If you have any questions. The site is almost finished, but for now you can go to the G Plus page or the Facebook and um, leave comments or right here on the uh, YouTube channel. Um, if you do print some burgers, please share the experience with me and everybody else. It's, uh, it'd be really awesome. Um, I'm really excited to finish the whole design. Hopefully it'll come in early 2014. But uh, thanks for watching and have a great day.